but in the next two days I want to get the layers coop cleaned out and some other things done just some like spring cleaning around here Jason's gonna be leaving me here the next two weeks to go to Florida and I just want to try to keep these birds alive until he gets back so earlier we lost our fifth chicken five uh, our fifth meat bird it looked like from what I saw it's on its back feet in the air so I thought uh, sudden chicken syndrome is what happened but upon further examination when I took her out you saw she had like a puncture wound in behind her wing so I'm not sure if that had happened before or after she died but I do believe that could have happened um, like when I go to feed them in the mornings from them hopping and jumping and crowding to get to the feeders so me and Jason are gonna work on getting this opened up and these feeders spread around on each side and kind of just get them spread out a little bit to try and help and prevent that. Uh, some other people that I see, it looks like this Cornish cock cross breed, they're <clears throat> prone to disease and illness and a lot of people are losing like half their flocks. So for us to lose five, honestly, I don't think we're doing too bad. So we're just going to try to keep them healthy and alive. Got the feeders spread out and uh, raised them up a little bit. So hopefully that'll help with crowding in the morning. All right, got the meat birds feeders all spread out, and raised up. I'm gonna leave the top off for a little bit and let them get some sun. Uh, now we're moving to the layer coop. Wanted to get it cleaned out, but we're gonna wait and do a spring clean. I get this fence taped down and uh, all the plastic. Got all the plastic off and the fence down, so that'll look a little better. I want to get this front piece off. It's actually for the smaller coop, and get it back on there, and uh, get them like a some type of like kennel to use as a run. I also want to use this on the other one because I want to incubate and use this for them. But there were just some hawks over here flying. So I think we're going to get this cleaned up, go get their top back on, get them moved, and call it for the night. You raised this, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I wanted to make sure the little ones could get there because we still got a few little ones. And then one in the middle, so three okay. on each side. Those it should be attached, attached over there. They should. It's on there better this time than it was the first time, yeah, actually. For sure. for sure it is. Yeah, so I'm glad we did that. It actually pulls out over the sides a lot farther. Well, it's Sunday, 
Uh, we ran and got some more meat bird feed this morning. I think the goal today is uh, to get the layer coop cleaned out, like a good spring cleaning, clean everything out, all the roost bars, um, get it all wiped down and cleaned out, sprayed with permethrin for the mites and the bugs and really give it a good clean out. We got the fence down and the plastic off yesterday. This is our job for today, and then I think we're just going to go enjoy the day, and we've got a bunch of cleaning and laundry and stuff to do before Jason heads out for the next couple weeks. Get this cleaned up a little bit, let that air out and go dump. Got the layers coop all cleaned out, did a nice spring cleaning, deep cleaning. Everything pulled out, everything wiped down, everything dusted, the bottom cleaned out, spraying some vinegar on the roosting bars to uh, wipe them off and keep them clean. And then I did some permethrin in the cracks and the crevices to try and prevent mites and lice. And uh, time to put it back in. Everything's dry so I can go ahead and put their bedding back in. We changed up their ramp. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it. If it doesn't, we'll rearrange some stuff. But this actually goes to our smaller coop. Uh, eventually, we're gonna pull this off and buy like a, a bigger like kennel and use it as a run. I would really love to build one, but I just, we don't have the time for it. We got more important things, so. I think one of those kennels will work fine and then we'll just tarp it and uh, keep it closed up through the winter. So I got the fences down. Jason's doing some mowing. Let's get the bedding back in and get this taken care of. This is probably gonna be it for this one, guys. It's Sunday, we're ending the week. Jason's heading out of town this week for two jason's heading to florida for work for the next two weeks so uh, i've got to keep those meat birds hopefully i can keep those meat birds alive until he gets back the thing i worry about with that is we do have like a few maybe like three or four of the cornish who are pretty fat and i'm just worried i'm worried they may not make it the two weeks until he gets back I don't know, maybe heart problems or leg problems or who knows, you know, it's hard to tell with this breed. They're very sensitive and they just, they're a very special kind of stupid and I swear they'll try anything to like kill themselves, honestly. Like from what I've read, we're doing really well. We've lost five and most people say they lose half their flock. So I, we're doing really well. I hope I can keep them alive. Um, I do worry about those few that we have of the fatter ones, but when it comes down to it, the few who are fat, we've got a total of what? 40, 43. So we'll say half of them are at um, eight weeks and half are at six. So when he gets back, uh, we'll be starting the older ones who will be at 10 weeks so if I have three who are fat that's half like 21 three out of 21 so I can't focus all my attention on the that fat one and trying to help them I've got to put 
my attention to the majority, the other 20, and make sure they're staying healthy because I'd rather, I'd rather lose three than 20 if you understand what I'm saying. You can't change everything just for those three. you guys doing? Sorry the weather has been crap. He'll be good hardy birds. It's been rough for all of us. Cold. Yeah. How you feel about leaving me here for the two weeks holding down the fort? Are you worried? I don't think it'll be two full weeks, but it's going to be close to two full weeks. Yeah. You know, it's going to be... I'm just hoping I can keep them all alive until you get back. Nine or ten days anyway. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We got a few on the heavy side, but you got to focus more on the majority rather than the few. So. Yeah. Yeah. And again, like I said, if it needs to next weekend, just start cutting a piece of fence to fit in there. Or, yeah. Separate them. Well, you know, we'll talk about it as the week. Anything that you need to do to get in there to separate them, just do it. I think you're set up pretty good. I think I've gotten it pretty much everything. Done. Yeah, and even at that. Um, the first couple weeks were challenging just because it was all new and, you know, stressful without you being here. Just because it was the first time, it's obviously going to be hard. But I'm happy that I had those couple weeks to, you know, figure it out yeah. rather yeah. than you being gone for two straight off the bat. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, we'll be all right. You know, and you might have one get sick or something. It, it's just the breed. Right. It's, you know. We've had an intense weather too. This breed, along yeah. with that wild, intense yeah. weather we've been having, made it rough. But I think overall, I think we're doing pretty good. The trees to... are almost blooming, so we should be pretty <laughs> much through it here. I'm starting to get pretty and green again. Yeah. It's the end of the week. Time to start a new one tomorrow. Only 1,600 miles to go. <laughs> That's all for this one. So a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to join our journey and follow along. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye, babe. No, we don't have to now. Say bye. Bye, babe. <laughs>